I mean, I'm very surprised about this this area here because I, I've never been here. I was once in uh, Sibiu, and uh, I was really surprised to be here in the middle of nowhere. I mean, a, a village, tiny little village, and there's a kind of an international festival. It was really a big surprise, and I, I was driven around a little bit, and and it was a really nice landscape and wonderful people. So I'm really surprised about this whole area here, the whole situation. Am avut șansa unui sponsor foarte înțelegător. Și am reușit să aduc un cap de afiș cum greu poate fi adus. Numele său probabil că a captat uh, tot interesul. E o mulțime de vipuri pe aici care au venit să-l vadă. I just play bass by pure random because I, I, I played cello before and, uh, and, and in that high school where I worked, where, where I studied, uh, there was a school orchestra then, a classic orchestra. And in that music room, there was always a bass standing around. Nobody could play it. And at some some point, the, the conductor and, and musical teacher said, uh, "I would love to, if somebody could would be able to play bass." And I said, "Well, I can try. It can't be that difficult." And I tried it, and it worked out. And so, so by by this purely random situation, I became a, a bassist, so to speak. And only later on, much later on, I decided to become a professional. I didn't want to be a musician in the first place. As a matter of fact, I, I just made films. I was in the, in, the, in the commercial film company and, and I did everything. I was director and, and scriptwriter and uh, editor and everything. So I worked there for eight years uh, to avoid to, be, to, to become a musician. But always at the same time I, I played on my big double bass then. I played some, some, some uh, music local around. This was in Stuttgart in Germany then. Then luckily in, in, in the late 60s there, were, there was the first oil crisis. Luckily, I have to say, because then uh, this film company went bankrupt, so I had nothing to do, and I tried a little to continue with other companies, but I didn't like it, and I didn't want to go to TV, uh, and so suddenly I, I became a musician, and I, it was in '72, and then in 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 '72 I also developed this kind of bass, but the main reason was because when I had to travel a lot. The big double bass was too too big you know, to transport it and so on. So I wanted to have something a little, something small, something uh, which could be transported easier and so on. And so I built this kind of bass. Actually, I have to be, I will be honest, uh, basses like this existed at some point. And I understood that they have been played by hillbilly uh, bass players. But this bass disappeared totally after a little while. And I found it again in an antique shop and I saw how this looks kind of nice, let's find out what one can do with that. And so I bought it and, and reconstructed it, added a, a nice pickup system and so on and so on and so on. And added a fifth string, the high C string, which enables me to, to play also more melody stuff. And, and uh, so then it is, throughout the years it developed my style and I can't really say what is my style or, uh, or why it came like that. It just came out of me and, and For example, when somebody asks me what kind of music do you play, uh, describe it, and I, usually my answer is, I can't help you. Listen, and then you tell me how you find this music and how would you describe. And usually when this happens, sometimes, seldom enough, somebody listens, and I, uh, afterwards I ask him, no, please uh, try to, 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 to explain my music, and he says, uh, mm, uh, uh, it's difficult, uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's jazz, but it's not really jazz, it's, I don't know, I don't mind, you know. It's, <laughs> Thank you.